everyone. Welcome to Feng Shui Cafe. In Feng Shui, the four most important areas of a house are the front door, the bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. Today's video is about bedroom Feng Shui. Bedroom is one of the most important rooms in our home. An average person sleeps eight hours a day, which means we spend about one third of a day sleeping. Therefore, a good bedroom feng shui is super important. Now, I will share with you eight feng shui tips for your bedroom to enhance your health and well-being. Number one, the bed headboard should be placed against the wall. This is because a solid wall provides strong support and protection. But there should not be a window above the headboard because glass windows are transparent. They don't provide you enough support and protection. So it has to be a solid wall to be considered good feng shui. You also want to make sure the headboard is not sharing a wall with the toilet suite or the stove on the other side from your head. This is because the energy created by the toilet or the stove could affect your health and well-being. Number two, if you are living in a two-story house, make sure the stove or the toilet are not installed above or below the bedroom. For example, this kitchen is on the ground floor, and right above the kitchen is the bedroom. As you can see, the fire generated from the stove goes up. Causing imbalanced energy in your bedroom. Similarly, if the toilet is one level above the bedroom, when you flush the toilet, the energy generated by the toilet goes down into the bedroom, and that's not very good for your shui. Number three, the height of your bedside tables should be lower than the headboard. The bedside tables are very important. It has to be one on each side of your bed for the energy to be balanced. This is because the left-hand side represents the green dragon, and the right-hand side represents the white tiger. Both need to be present to be considered good feng shui. Number four, make sure there's nothing hanging over your bed, such as a chandelier or a ceiling fan. This is because the energy generated from these heavy items can create lots of pressure on your body. Similarly, there are bedrooms with air conditioners installed on the wall right above the headboard. The air conditioner can also create lots of pressure on your head. There are bedrooms with exposed beams on the ceiling. If your bed is in a position right under the beams. That is not good feng shui, so you have to think about changing the position of the bed or changing a bedroom. Number five, the bedroom door and your bed should not be positioned in a straight line. That means the bed should not be facing the door. If your bed is facing the door, you may consider changing the position of your bed to avoid the imbalanced energy rushing towards you. Number six, the toilet suite should not be seen from your bed. For example, many master bedrooms have bathrooms included. If your bed is facing the toilet suite, the negative energy generated from the toilet can rush into your bedroom and affect your health. Number seven, there should not be a mirror in the bedroom. Mirrors can create energy affecting your sleeping quality. If you have a mirror closet. In your bedroom that cannot be removed, what you can do is to cover the mirror with a curtain or a piece of fabric. Also, avoid in putting your TV screens in your bedroom because, like a mirror, the TV also has reflections. Number eight, the fish tank should not be placed in the bedroom. This is because the energy generated from the water element. Can disturb the stability and tranquility of your bedroom feng shui. Now, here's a quiz for you. In the following two bedroom photos, can you spot any feng shui mistakes? Feel free to leave your comments below. If you find my videos helpful, feel free to share with your friends and subscribe to my channel.